love history memes, but I'm kind of ashamed to admit like how many I don't get. And I'd like to maybe dive a little bit deeper into some of the more obscure ones. That way, maybe we can learn something. I don't know. Anyways, let's get started. England, I'm fighting for my queen. Russia, I'm fighting for my czar. Serbia, I'm fighting. <laughs> yes, this is very, yeah, I, I get that. All right, Kelly. You, R. Kelly and Serbia have a lot more in common than you thought. I'm not gonna go into each one. That one's kind of self-explanatory. Serbia, World War I, not a fun time. But uh, yeah, well, let's just keep going. Educational and factual content everyone would enjoy. History Channel. Aliens. Oh, we got a Spider-Man template. USSR, USA, UK, France, having a little meeting. Germany's my friend. Not to invade Russia, USSR. <laughs> oh man, yeah, uh, that operation really worked out, didn't it? Italy leaves the Axis, Axis loses World War II, Italy. Hey, they got a point, they got a point. I think that's the key to winning world wars. Just make sure you keep Italy on your side the whole time because they're out here winning all of them. The numbers don't lie. I've actually been wanting to do like a video talking about the whole Italy switching sides meme. It's, it's a shaky concept, but it checks out. This is actually the meme that made me want to make this video. Like, I thought I was the only dumb one. Like, there are some obscure ones out there, and uh, we haven't reached those yet. We're going to. Imagine surviving mustard gas and trench warfare just to be killed by an oversized toaster. What is that? I've, I'm honestly curious. What were the Germans thinking there? The A7 was a heavy tank introduced by Germany in 1918 during World War One. That was like at the end of it too. 100 chassis were ordered in early 1917, tend to be finished as fighting vehicles with armored bodies and I've got a lot to learn about tanks. Actually, I was thinking about doing another vlog video. There's like a little tank park kind of near by my house. Uh, maybe I'll do that and, and try to, you know, see what these things look like. They were the only tanks produced by Germany in World War One to be used in combat. Really? Uh, that's interesting. Damn, the A7Vs often went to action with as many as 25 men on board. That's, that's a lot of bread for this toaster. There's actually a list telling us the fate of a lot of them. Most of them were scrapped, usually by the allies. One got hit by like uh, artillery or something like that. Cannibalized and then British loot. So are, are tanks out here eating each other then? You know what, I, I think I've come to the conclusion I just need to start playing War Thunder again. Settlers introduced rats, ferrets, and possums to New Zealand. Native birds. Oh, that that's actually sad. This poor Kiwis. Hey, but you know what? Maybe that was a blessing in disguise. You don't want to mess with this flightless bird family. No, I'm just kidding. But I guess, uh, yeah, they, they get they get murdered by a lot of different things. Two of them recently got off the endangered list, though. Offering Odysseus and his men hospitality. Killing and eating six of Odysseus' men. <laughs> Does this even count as history memes? Come on, I mean, kind of. I don't know. I don't know if this counts. War-torn Middle Eastern countries. You took everything from me. France, the UK, and the US. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> oh, uh, th you know, this is a good time to not say anything. Please, YouTube, just leave me alone. The Iliad, Troy Story. Troy Story was good. I prefer Troy Story 4, though. It's not out yet, but it's coming. Lots of Homer references with these memes. Kind of interesting. I, uh, I guess Troy Story 2 would would be what we just talked about. Oh, that's perfect. Troy Story 2 is good. I like that one. Yeah, Guilty Pleasure. I really liked that movie Troy with Brad Pitt. I don't know. I know it, it probably wasn't accurate, but uh, as a kid, it, it was enjoyable for me at least. Ireland in 1844. Ireland from 1845 to 1849. <laughs> well, that one's obvious. Nothing to, yeah, nothing to explain there. Honestly, that was screw Fortnite. I I'm still all about Plants vs. Zombies. Me, I don't have time to balance work and hobbies. Harold Hardrada, the guy from, oh, that's the Norway Civ 6 leader, right? Uh, captured 80 strongholds, exiled to Russia, almost killed in Norway, invaded England. Wow, this guy did a lot. I don't even think I could fact check all that, but it looks like he, he did a lot. Returning from places, going to places. I barely even leave my house most of the time. He did poetry, brewing, horse riding, swimming, skiing, shooting, rowing, and playing the harp. Oh man, this guy was such a chad. Yeah, British people, I, I want an explanation for this. Uh, I'm triggered. Britain, Canada, Britain and the 13 colonies. So true, so true. I've, this, this is why we have daddy issues. I would like to check out the legitimacy of this. Europeans, rats in the 14th century. Was it really rats? Purely rats? Let, you know, let's check it out. Well, the plague was carried out by fleas that usually traveled on rats, but jumped off to other mammals when the rat died. It most likely first appeared in humans in Mongolia around, oh, I saw another meme relating to that. Okay, so we learn in two different things, but it wasn't purely rats. Well, I mean, obviously it wasn't like rats had an army just invading people, killing them off. But wait a second, it was likely carried by fleas living on the black rats that traveled on all merchant ships. So, I mean, in a way we could blame the fleas, 
or we could blame the merchant ships. Either one works. Estimated to have killed 30 to 60% of Europe's population. That is insane. And this is actually kind of cool to see, like, I don't know. I mean, I play some, I play some CK, I watch some CK2 uh, here and there, and uh, it does, it does travel to Europe in different ways. Nice to see, like, the real way. I actually learned that it didn't hit Poland as hard because of certain things that they were doing. I, I don't know, but uh, it also hit them late too. I wonder if that helps. Germany. Okay, now we only have to invade a few countries. Germany. Why is America joined the war? Japan? Yes. Pearl Harbor memes are honestly some of my favorites. Like, just the banter between them back and forth. Everyone in class paying attention. My history teacher talking about World War II. Me interrupting the class to explain how the death of Archduke led to the creation of... <laughs> I've heard that before, and it is... I think it's necessary. The fact that schools don't teach this is honestly disgusting. I want to see some proof of this. I, I want hard evidence, okay? I, I don't know if I believe this happened in real life. I only see Canada do well in my videos. I guess this is good enough. List of Canadian military victories. It is... I have to admit, it is a lot longer than I thought. This is a lot of battles. I mean... I guess maybe they haven't lost anything. I mean, they might have, like, you know, come to a stalemate or whatever, but... Okay. This... This is blowing my damn mind. Oh, gotta be careful though. We got at least one still ongoing. Oh, okay. Gotta cross our fingers there. I feel really stupid. I, I I don't know why I never thought about that, but it does make sense if I really think about it. I always think it's the most ludicrous thing when Canada wins something in my videos. Canada has a probably a better record than we do. The US, what, what the f- Oh, interesting. French, Dutch war. We have uh, somebody else switching sides. Uh, they're a little bit more Italian than I thought. But then again, you know, I'm sure there's examples of Italians running all over the place. You know, we got the Thirty Years' War, Denmark and Norway did something similar. But you know what? A lot of time passed by, so... Uh, yeah, this might not even count. I guess four years went by here, too. I mean, Italy did it in a month. That That's impressive. I've been seeing this come up more and more in my own comment section. This is uh, a new revelation for me. I didn't know six hours. New was fast. Six? Six hours? Oh man, Denmark. Lasting approximately six hours, the German ground campaign against Denmark was one of the shortest military operations of the Second World War. But these numbers aren't too bad. They uh, they killed and wounded 20 to captured. How did, how long, so they were captured for like a couple hours? Damaged four tanks, damaged an aircraft? Okay, Th yeah, for six hours, they still did stuff. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch this. April 9th, uh, 2015 Danish film about Danish bicycle infantry during the German invasion. Might need to review that one day. When you invade the Mediterranean and only name 10 cities after yourself, I too am extraordinarily humble. Is that true though? They're talking about Alexander, I'm assuming. I think there's a lot more though. He named more than 70 after himself and one after his horse. <laughs> Wow, that's a little overkill though, guy. When you realize the Soviets has no way to get the space dog uh, back to Earth, but shot him into space on a huge missile anyways. <laughs> get him, John Wick. I I I'm not gonna stand for that. There wouldn't have even been an Avengers Endgame if Thanos snapped away half the dogs in the universe. My man would have taken him out in like an hour. Harry Truman after learning that the Japanese have refused to surrender in 1945. Do you want... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, yeah, that I, li I like that one. That was a good one. Europeans versus African tribes. Parry this, you... <laughs> I don't know how accurate this one is, this specific one, but I mean, maybe. I Maybe I should do some research. Oh no! Megxit's next! Oh man, I, I remember when Mexico joined the European Union. That was a great day. Spanish or vanish. This conversation was held in 1519 between Spain and the Aztecs. Now I know there's a couple mad lads out there that probably knew all this stuff. They they just didn't need any of this information. It was all just repeat information. They think I'm even more dumb than I might be. But this one got me. I had no idea what this was. The entire Australian police force versus one angry bloke in armor. What? I guess it's referring to Edward Ned Kelly, died in 1880, was an Australian bush ranger outlaw gang leader. Did a whole bunch of stuff. Wow. And uh his best, he's best known for a suit of bulletproof armor during his final shoot. That is crazy. I guess it wasn't just him, it was his entire gang. They all kind of had bulletproof armor on. And he didn't die, I guess? He, he was held, well, I mean, he, he obviously died eventually, but he, yeah, he stood trial. Well, anyways, I definitely didn't know that, and I definitely didn't know a couple of the things that I stumbled upon today. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see more. I could de technically do one a week or so, but it kind of is gonna depend because yeah, I I don't know if YouTube's gonna like this. Oh, there's also history anime memes. We gotta 
Look at this a little- oh. There we go. Oh man, okay, so there's definitely some more that <laughs> I can dive into. There's pretty much unlimited amounts, but this was the, the first. I just, I don't want to go too crazy here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to LVC, Elijah Senpai, Bruce Vacation, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Mo, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Free Cruise, Mr. Perkelly, Cooter Donkey, Brandon Hinkle, Destiny F 9000, Mega Fat Boy, A Sneaky Gengar, Battle Buddy 1847, James Miller, Mike S is gay, Sleeper 56, Huey Long Dong, and Alfonso M6, Millitime, Double Books, KB, my main man Manny. Thank you.